How many of you have fallen for this trap? Let's say you bought a stock and that is up by over 40%. And as usual, our mind plays games. It tells us, why don't we book this profit? It also tells you a reason saying, by doing so, you're going to reduce the risk of capital erosion by 40%. You fall for it, you book the profits. This is one of the most common ways of reducing the risk for all of us and it is advocated by a lot of people. This is all great. But there are primarily two major issues with this. Any good company, the share price of that particular company continues to rise. It doesn't matter whether you're sold or not. Therefore, the pain of seeing the share price of that company rise up after you sold is thriving more than the gain of profit booking. And then you have to pay a lot of transaction charges. Those include brokerages, STT. GST, stamp charges, SEBI charges, and capital gain taxes. Now, at the end of the day, you need to tell yourself whether it is really worth it. Should you really sell it all, or should you continue to hold? I'm sure we need to create a strategy for this, and that's what exactly I address in this video. Watch till the end. Have you watched my video on power of compounding? If not, please do watch. It is well worth your time. Here's one of the reasons why you should not sell a stock. I would like to give you a riddle. Let's say I give you two choices. On one hand, I give you one rupee, just one rupee, but that has the power of doubling every day for the next 30 days. And on the other hand, I give you straight away rupees 10 crores. Now tell me which one would you choose, option A or option B? Write down the answer in the comment section. And if you get the answer right, you will really understand why keeping a long-term perspective and a lot of patience will let the power of compounding show its magic. Therefore, don't sell a compounding stock very early. The second bad reason to sell a stock is because tomorrow there is some big political announcement. Some election results are going to be out. RBI is coming out with its uh, policy announcement or markets have reacted to some news which is not even related to your stock. The third reason is hope. You sell a stock hoping that tomorrow the price will come down and therefore you can buy it back. Of course you will be lucky. You will spot a couple of them very beautifully. You will think that you have cracked it. But you are eventually expected to miss the multi-pack. Fourth reason actually could be because you see that price has already shot out. The price to earnings ratio looks very high or the price to book value is expensive. What is expensive today or what is high today for all you know can be cheap tomorrow. Therefore, don't sell it because it looks high to you. And fifth reason is as such, it is very difficult to spot good compounding stocks, right? Then, if you sell the stock that you identified today, what are you going to do with this money? Have you already identified another multi band? Is the sale really worth it? Are you ready to sell this to buy the next one? Therefore, my request is don't just sell for booking profits. Create a reason in these frameworks and figure out if it really is worth to sell that particular stock. So now you may think that, okay, I will never sell a good stock, not at all. Just like the way there are reasons not to sell, there are five reasons according to us that you should sell and these reasons are not comprehensive. For all you know, you may have other reasons too. The first big reason is that the competition has broken the moat of this particular company. This company is now losing its market share and edge. The second is the management is not able to execute its plan well. The growth is slowing down. The third reason could be the quality of the management is deteriorating. You certainly see a huge change in the management uh, level. You believe that this quality is not worthy enough, therefore you should sell. The fourth reason can be that you have identified a big multi already and this particular company is well worth the sell. Go ahead and sell it. Fifth and often the most common one is that you would have got it all wrong. You would have done certain analysis which could be wrong. And therefore, go ahead and sell. 
See, actually, the discipline of holding is often underrated and less understood in our investment journey. We strongly believe that patience or not selling and the power of compounding or compounding is closely related. If you falter with one, the second one is almost impossible. Therefore, be wise and create the right money mindset. I really want to thank Chris of Acme Management for sharing this beautiful article. Good luck.